fall to. I haven't been a huge priority in that regard. Maybe that will change, but I'm not sure. More balls come my way in two-minute drill where nothing is planned. Uh -huh. So, Shannon, do you believe Cole's claim about the front office? Mm. No. Cole, newsflash, nobody builds an offense around a slot receiver. Mm. They build offense. Unless it's New England, but go ahead. A they build the offense mm -hmm. around the outside guys, mm -hmm. okay? Well, he needs to go to New England if he wants to catch <laughs> Well, the maybe. Ball. Maybe he will. I don't know. Skill. He's a free agent. Cole, <laughs> Cole, you're not a game breaker. Jerry Jones was say Jerry Jones had a piggy bank, and he was saving the these pennies for a rainy day, Jenny. Mm -hmm. And what, they, what Cole Beasley and the other receivers forced him to do was break open that piggy bank and go get Amari Cooper. That's what Cole Beasley... That's what uh, 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 Hearns and Michael Gallup, before he started. Now, Michael Gallup looks like he's turning the corner. He's going to be pretty good. Pretty good. Now, I, 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 I get it, Cole. Yep. I'm in the camp that I don't believe Dak is where Skip Bayless thinks he is. Mm. And some of uh, 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 Cole's frustration is that, yeah, and he's, he's been very outspoken about this. We're getting open. Mm -hmm. We're just not getting opportunities. Mm. But do I believe that the front office... It's just, okay, Skip, it's just like when they had Dez. Throw the ball to Dez. Dez is our playmaker. Dez is our number one receiver. We get him the ball. Amari Cooper's there. They said, give Amari Cooper the ball. Hmm. Now, in two minutes, they do call plays. You just don't line up and just run whatever you want to run. That's true. So It gets a little more extemporaneous. Yeah. It's, it's a little more frenetic and, and less planned. You, well, the thing yeah. is, Skip, because you're in the last couple of minutes mm -hmm. because so a lot of things, more times than not, is going to get off script. Yep. And if you look at the touchdown, the game-winning touchdown he caught against the Giants, that wasn't a diagram play. Mm -hmm. It got off script. Dak had to break the pocket. Mm -hmm. He had to reroute. Yep. He made a great play. But this notion that I should be more heavily involved because I'm a game-breaker, I'm a game... Your guy. Mm -hmm. Your guy. You moved the chains. You got three touchdowns. Amari Cooper was there, had a cup of coffee, was there for like six weeks, and he got double the amount of touchdowns you got cold. True. So stop think See, sometimes, Skip, we get the misconception. And the biggest thing that happened to Cole is that one year he caught 75 balls, 77 balls. 77. And 77 five, 75. Five 75. In 2016. Dak's rookie year. Yep. And he believed, like, man, I turned the corner. I'm mm -hmm. Julian Edelman. I'm a Wes Welker. I'm mm -hmm. a Brandon Stokely. All these, the, the white slot yep. receivers. He did. He's like, yep. that's me now. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it's not. And they're not building the offense around you because you're not the guy that's going to break the game open. Hmm. Cooper breaks the game open. Guys that's outside breaks the game open. And so with it, and when you come, when it comes down to it, Skip, Julian Edelman caught major, major third downs. But when they rubber needed to meet the road and they needed that home run, that old guy that can't run like he once could, he's broken mm -hmm. down, he's a shell of himself. Mm -hmm. But he went 20 plus yards up the sideline. It wasn't a home run, but I'll give you a triple. Yeah. <laughs> and he yep. and he he lugged out a triple. Yep, he did. So Cole, Skip, look, the only benefit, the only reason Dak, uh, uh, Cole caught this many balls is Dak dinking and dunking. Mm. If they push the ball down the field like, like they want him to do, you would let, you're not catching 60 balls, you're probably catching 30. Come back next year in this offense and give Dak and Amari a whole offseason, mm -hmm. uh, uh, OTAs, mini camps, training camps, yep. to get their connection and see how many balls Cole Beasley catch next okay. year. Okay. So, to all your points, I will give you this. I do believe Cole Beasley has developed an overinflated opinion of himself <laughs> because last offseason, last, I think it was May, mm -hmm. he dropped his first rap album called The Autobiography. Ego maniacal, I don't know what it is. In the very the, in title alone, his autobiography, you're only 29 years of age, you're already dropping your autobiography. Wow. Of, of what? Of what is a good question. <laughs> of what? So I give you that. I also think he's a social media victim. I think he tends to to go as Twitter goes. T Twitter tells him how he should think and yeah, react. Yeah, Cole, man, you should be yeah. catching like you yeah. should be catching ball right. like Juju. Right. And so we're getting some of that kind of reaction. And by the way, this this was a reaction. He was doing the, the basic Q and A on Twitter. He right. was responding to one of his followers when he took this shot at Jerry Jones, and this was a shot. Do I think that Jerry influences game plans? Yeah. I do. 
I do. Not not specifically. Not saying we don't throw it to right, Cole Beasley right. this game. But but let's let's feature Amari. I, we we landed. Let's let's go to right. let's go to Amari more, right? Or what? Whatever. Let's run Zeke more this game. What? Whatever. I think the uh, just in overview. I think Jerry has input that. Again, when Jerry speaks, Scott Linehan would listen. Jason Garrett would definitely, his coach, I'm sure, right? I'm sure there's a lot of owners that yep. say, I would like to see a little more of this or a that. little more of that. Not going to tell you which right, place to right, call right, Exactly, yeah. exactly. Just more of that, less of that, more of that. So do I think that happened? I do. Now, to Cole Beasley as a football player, I do believe, I'm a fan, that I, that I believe he's underrated and underutilized because he became a weapon, especially in 2016 and Dak's rookie year. And they do have a pretty good rapport and connection. So he caught 75 balls. He was targeted almost 100 times, 98 targets that year. Mm -hmm. And remember the great Troy Aikman said on Fox that year, and I'm going to have to kind of paraphrase the quote, but he said he's virtually uncoverable, unguardable mm -hmm. in the slot unless you put bracket coverage on him just because he's so lightning quick mm -hmm. not so much fast he timed four four nine it's okay not not that's bad that's, that's pretty, very pretty, good it's pretty good I'm, I'm not saying he can blaze by you yeah. but but in quickness more than speed just in just mm -hmm. right left right yeah. left and again julian edelman is probably not quite as quick as cole beasley but he has such connection with Brady that the option routes, yeah. they are just so simpatico on the same wavelength Absolutely. that Brady is anticipating he's going to his right on this right. play, and I'm going to throw it before he breaks, and you can't yeah. cover this, yep. right? Yep. You can put two people on him. And but, Brady, they, like, but the difference is, Skip, Brady's always thrown to the slot. Remember, he had Wes Welker. Wes caught almost 800 it. passes. Loves it, okay? So, by the way, Cole is a free agent, and it wouldn't shock me if he winds up in New England. It's just, it'd be the perfect fit. Yeah. Um, does Cole have the kind of mind that they want there? Does he have the kind of lack of ego? I don't know That'd if that tough, fits. Yeah. I don't know. You know. He gets nicked a lot. Now, you know, you, you see some of the shots that Julian Edelman take. Yeah, and by the way, I, I checked that. that out on the size differences. So, Cole is, listen, this is why I sarcastically call him Measly Beasley. Mm. He's 5'8", 180, and that's probably generous, generous. Mm -hmm. And Julian is 5'10", 198, so he's got more. Wow. Julian runs with a little stature. Oh, yeah, yeah, power, he put, yeah, right? he put together, yeah. yeah. And, and when he decides to fight for the two yards for first down, he can duck his head. Right. He can right. power through people occasionally, mm -hmm. other DBs anyway. So, again, Cole's not... <sighs> The most durable guy, not the biggest guy, but he'll fight. He'll fight for first downs. I do think he's underutilized in this offense. And obviously, when they got Amari, I can just show you the numbers, Cole started to drop. Right. Well, it's just what, going to happen, right? We, and by the way, they did drop in 2017 because Des Bryant became a Gronk-like shell of himself. Right. And I'm convinced I don't have the coach's tape, but just to my eye, they were doubling Cole a whole lot in 2017 okay. because he was the guy. You, you just say, don't don't let him have that because that's first down, first down, first down. To just single Des Bryant. Right. If they're going to keep forcing balls to Des, he can't run by anybody, right. Right? right? Correct. Okay. I know a guy last year had the very same comment mm. about Dallas. Mm -hmm. He says, I need more opportunities. I can do so much better. I'm a free agent. I'm going to see. Mm. How'd that work out for him, Skip? You remember Bryce Butler came here? <laughs> do I? Now, Cole, Cole uh -huh. be careful now. You know what? I, I agree. That was going to be my bottom line to this discussion. I'm pretty sure Cole Beasley just bought his ticket out of town. Yeah. I think he just did. Yeah. It's a one-way ticket out of Dallas. You can't do that. No. Nope. I know it's just instant Twitter reaction, and it's don't hit send because you're just rocking and firing. Right. You're just reacting, reacting, Q&A, 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 and then you say, ah, oh, somebody says something, get you, hit send. And you regret it because you say, ooh, ooh, that's... But when you say the front office, if you just say, Skip, I just want more opportunity. Yeah. Now, whether that's here or somewhere else, I just want an opportunity to show what I can really do. Mm -mm. Now, mm -mm. I've showed you in 2016 yep. what I'm capable of. I caught 75 balls. So given the opportunity, I think I've shown you I can do it. But when you bring the front office into it... I know. I agree. Now, <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure Cole Beasley will not be a Dallas Cowboy next year. Wow. And I, you because need to this. replace him. You're going to have to find something. It's not that easy. I think he's better than most people think he is. Yeah. I think he's pretty valuable. And again, Alan Hearns, God bless him. I got to knock he him. Ain't coming, he's going to be a minute. That, that's he's going to be a minute. And it could be career threat. Yeah. yeah. That looks so bad to me. That was bad. That, so ooh. hopefully it's a clean. It didn't tear any, you know, no, no, no. no arteries or no, no, nothing down there major. Because, you know, 
the extremities, as, as, as you move out further from the body, yep. you get less blood flow. Mm -hmm. That's why when you get frostbite, yep. you know, you lose a toe, you yep. lose a finger, and things that you can live without. So there's not a whole lot of circulation. And remember, for Dallas drafted a little man named Ryan Switzer who was supposed to be the other Cole or yeah. the next Cole. Right. And I don't know what happened, but they ended up trading him away. To Oakland, right. and then he wound up with the Steelers, and he was pretty good for the well, Steelers. Well, they, they, but they already they already got their replacement for mm. uh, uh, for Cole Beasley already on the roster. Mm. They traded for him, Tavon Austin. Mm. Tavon Austin ran four three, right? Skip. You say you like Tavon. I love. You say you out. want him to have more opportunities. Yeah. Look well, like he' about to get him. Well, he's a little different than Cole, but but again, he needs more opportunity. He he. I think he about tore his groin off the bone. He did not tweet hashtag back in no time. You know what? He did not. No, 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 we're not going to do that. He did not we, 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 do we, that. Uh, we brawn free today. Some, oh, so we, brawn free? we brawn free? Brawn I think we just Taking went brawn. No, you no. went brawn. Yeah. I Where thought is we he, by the way? Well, whatever happened to him? Sunday. Come back Sunday. Sunday? You said Thursday. The inside information or really? just a guess? Sunday's Phoenix. You want, no, no, wait. What, do you want to come back for a cakewalk game? Come on. Who doesn't like cake? Huh? Jenny loves cake. Okay. That is true. All she does is post on, a, on IG cake. Really? Yep. Cake? Just so much Let cake. Let them eat cake. Yes. Uh, you know, good way to be. Good reminder to think before everything you post. Because everyone is watching when you tweet those things. Are the Rams proving they're all...